Hello there, everyone. The Andrada here, and welcome back to episode 64 of our All the Mod 6 to the Sky Let's Play series. Uh, we're today, a couple, couple housekeeping things, as always, on Mondays here. We have housekeeping. Um, I got tired of this thing and my sounds getting reset every single time. So I, uh, I just went into settings, music and sounds, and I muted hostile creatures. We really don't need sounds. We've we've killed almost everything that would really matter to us at this point. Um, and our anchors keep getting reset, which is driving me nuts. So, yeah, don't know what's going on with that. But the only thing I can hear now are slimes. So we're going to go ahead and just get rid of those. Bam. Good to go. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, a couple other things. Uh, our good friend Glory to Arstotska recommended that I make a stack of all of our upgrades from industrial foregoing, which I was like, you know what? That's probably a good idea. We end up using these. We have the resources, so I'm not like too concerned about it. Uh, that was supposed to be. No. Uh, efficiency processing. Okay, I lied. Oh, maybe I shouldn't do that. Okay, I lied. Maybe I shouldn't do a whole stack. Maybe I should do like 16. Let's cancel that. Let's not burn through all of our... Uh, cancel. Yeah. I lied. Um, Let's just, uh, you know, we'll just do eight of each. How about that? I, I don't know if we're going to need a full stack anyway. So we'll do eight and eight. There we go. That seems a little bit more reasonable. Okay. Um, yeah, that was a lot of diamonds. I didn't realize that was that many diamonds. Now, I do have diamond seeds, which means I have diamond essence. It's actually not that big of a deal. I forgot I have diamond essence. Let's teach the system real quick how to make diamonds from diamond essence, which is going to be you, buddy. And there we go. Now we have diamond essence on craft. Uh, yeah, anyway. So that was uh, Glory to Arstotska with the um, recommendation for that. Also, our friend Unpronounceable mentioned that our Create Mababi over here, with this setup, it's possible we could get this to go even twice as fast if we switch this out for a blast furnace. So I want to try that and see. Can we get this thing moving? Can we get it cooking if we use a blast furnace instead of a regular furnace, you know? Because a blast furnace makes it run twice as fast than a regular furnace. And since we have this kind of cheese going on here, does this work? And it does not look like it does. Which is interesting because these work off of the same principle. They use the same fuel. Um, you're outputting? Yes, you're working. I don't see any power going into this thing. Let's grab our hammer. Yeah, it's not using power. Let's grab one of our furnaces here. Yeah, it's working. It's on. So it's just, it does not work with the blast furnace. All right. Good experiment. But it does work with, you know, a regular furnace, so that's good for us to know because, well, we can continue using it. Please don't be mixing things. Don't move things. You shouldn't because you have empty spaces, so it should shut itself off here fairly soon. Yeah, there we go. Okay, um, so there's that. Today's episode, uh, I want to continue working with our bees and hopefully finally get us to our wither bee so we can, you know, start working on those honeycombs and get the wither bee out of the way. Pretty simple to do so, um, I think. I think we're at the point now where I'm over the whole B situation we had earlier and we can move on with our lives and finish off our Bs. So let's go ahead and do so. The first thing we need to do is we need to make ourselves a Colby and not Colby Jack, just a Colby. Yes, bad puns, I know. Um, yeah, so that is our lumber bee and our blazing bee. Mix those two together and we will get a coal bee. Uh, so for the blazing bee, it's just five molten core and the lumber bee is just five of any wood. So let's just grab some logs. 
one, two, three, four, five. And this is 100% chance, so we're good to go with this. Uh, and then molten core. We're also going to want a uh, bee jar to capture our new bee so that he doesn't, you know, run away and escape and then something terrible happened to him like we've had in the past. Uh, so we're going to drop our lumber bee, our blazing bee. Pray that the lumber bee or the blazing bee doesn't kill our lumber bee because he does catch things on fire. That would be unfortunate, wouldn't it? Go do the thing, friends. Make me a new bee. There we go. We got a coal bee. Get over here. And take you too. All right. So that is our coal bee acquired. Cool. So then for our withered bee, we need to take a coal bee and breed it with a spooky bee. And again, 100% chance. And that will get us our withered bee that we need. Withered bee is going to mix with a netherite bee and get us our wither bee, which is going to get us our wither combs, which is also going to get us nether stars. The netherite bee, we have pretty much everything we need for this. We just need a netherite bee spawn egg, which is a gold bee mutating a block of netherite. There's a 20% chance when this happens, they will create a netherite bee spawn egg. Um, and B block mutation requires there to be a valid hive for the bee to go into and to have nectar. So what we have to do for our gold bee, and we're going to go ahead and start working on setting this up now, is get some netherite blocks. Um, how many? I'm not entirely sure. Let's see. Netherite block. Just one, I guess. Like. Yeah, if we do the block right in front of our hive here, I think that'll be okay. So if we do this block, replace it with the netherite. We need to get some flowers because our bee needs some flowers to um, do his thing, do the bee thing. So let's plant some flowers all around, make it look nice in here for this guy. And we just put the bee in here. So what's gonna happen is he's gonna go pollinate the flowers, do the thing that bees do, He's going to be dripping honey, or well, he'll be dripping pollen, and he has a chance to mutate this block of netherite when he does so, uh, as the pollen drips over it. As far as I understand, I've actually never used the bee mutation process. When I played Enigmatica 6, I was able to run around the world and capture all the bees, though I know they've changed it recently to require bee mutation for this. But, yeah, basically... He's going to do that, go into the hive, and then our dispenser is going to dispense. Hun the uh, honey is just going to pop out into the world, so we need to get like an absorption hopper or something for this. But yeah, in theory, I just want to see the bee go into the hive. So come on, Mr. Gold Bee, do the thing. Do your thing. Okay, well, while I'm waiting, the coal bee, I'm going to assume, eats coal. Yes? Blocks of coal. We can give him blocks of coal to make him grow faster. Block of coal. Because we have plenty of it. You can do this with uh, mystical flowers, right? I did it in Aldemon 6. Or not Aldemon 6, Enigmatica 6. So I know it does work. But he's kind of... I mean, he's going down to each one. Does the beehive need to be a block higher? No, I don't think so. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and breed our um, Colby and do that part. So our lumber bee and our blazing bee are good to go. Our Colby needs fed. Should just like box him in here so I can continuously just feed him. All right, 15 seconds. And this will get us the Colby, and then we just have to breed this with a different bee that I can't remember what it is. Oop. What do you want to be with? You want to be with a spooky bee. We need to go make ourselves a spooky bee. Spooky bee is these things with the rib bones. Didn't I get rib bones? I 
I did have rib bones. Where did my rib bones go? Where did my rib bones go? If you remember, I went into the other and got rib bones by slot by killing some skeletons. That did happen, right? I'm not crazy. You're in there, right? Okay, yeah, that bee is in there. Um, and what I'm going to do, I'll just set up an absorption hopper. Right above this thing, it's got a big enough inventory that it'll be able to capture the honeycombs, so I'm not too concerned about it. Um, we just need to drop it down. Down, down. Yes, and it, the honeycombs will go into its buffer, but what will happen is once this netherite is converted, it will go into the uh, absorption hopper. And maybe I should do some more netherite blocks. Just to, just to give it even more chances of happening. The bee only really needs one flower for this to work. So I think we can make this work. Let's do two more. Let's do like, you know what? Let's do here, here, here. Put the flower there. So how many more do I need? One, two, three, four. That looks like enough. Hey, come here. I'm pretty sure the bee only needs one flower to work with. So this will give it the most chance for it to drip its honey down and do the thing. Okay. Uh, so we need to go to the other dimension, kill some skeletons and get their bones. Cause I don't know where their bones ended up going. Also going to move this I'm tired of having to fly up. We're pretty much invincible anywhere. So it doesn't really make too much of a difference. Okay. Skeletons. Um, let's see. If I remember correctly, I had a hard time kind of finding skeletons. Because there's so many other things that spawn. But there's one. I just need four of your ribs. You've got six. So give me your ribs. Nothing. Okay. Just got to fly around, find some skeletons so we can make a bee. I'm like, I know I did this. I know I had already made this bee. And I did. It is in my inventory. We did that at the end of last episode, didn't we? This is what happens when you take time in between recordings. You forget what happens. I'm like, I had a feeling we had already made this be before. Uh, yeah, so anyway, ignore that whole section just there of stuff we've already done. Any of you guys disappear yet? Nope. Uh, I would make more gold bees, so we had more of a chance for that, but I'm not going through that whole crafting process of making gold bees again. Nope, no way, not happening. So, yeah, just it just won't happen. Um, Spooky Bee, what do you want? Bone blocks. Yeah, and I did this part, I remember. Isn't that how I got the uh, gold bee? Something like that. And then coal. Where are you? Ah, oh, you son of a gun. Get over here. Don't move. Wait, you don't want... Ugh. There's a cooldown before it can breed again. Do you have a, a NBT tag that says when you can breed? I may have done this already. Beehive inhabitors. Nope. I can't see anything special there. Uh, so basically, I just have to wait until this guy will allow me to feed him. So... 
Uh, yeah, I guess. I hope that doesn't mess up the Colby too now. How you doing, Gold B? Get out of the hive, sir. I need more gold bees. What was our gold bee? That's the one that had a only a small chance, though, wasn't it? Like, um, let's see. You come from. Sorry, we did that. Netherite spawn egg. Yeah, you had a twenty percent chance of doing it. I don't want to do that again. I remember this. Uh, yeah, and that was a pain because those are the two bees that I ended up losing in the last episode, so I didn't want to deal with it. So, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, um, I guess we'll just let this bee cool down. Um, I guess theoretically I can just pop them in here. We'll put the coal bee in here too. So getting them out when they go into the hive is going to be a pain, but I can deal with that when the time comes. Okay, so we will digress a little bit from our plan and start working towards something else that I haven't figured out yet. So let me be right back. Okay, I say, what say we, um, no honey in there, which is interesting. We got flowers though. Do the thing, like just do it. Nike, just do it. Uh, anyway, I say, what say we uh, continue working towards astral sorcery and upgrading our astral sorcery? Where did I put that thing? Speaking of astral sorcery. Um, Bueller? And astral? Oh, I put this away. Oh, yeah. I was supposed to uh, expand this area, wasn't I? Well, that never happened, it looks like. Honestly, this is going to go away once we get the, the wither bee set up and then we start working on getting his honeycombs. I'm going to tear this down because we really don't need it. So, uh, yeah, we'll just uh, let this be. I don't know what these bees are doing. Dancing on the ceiling. So this could become our astral sorcerer area. I have no, no issue with that there. Let's go ahead and break down these R's lights that we don't necessarily need anymore. And start working towards our Astro Sorcery stuff. Okay, so Astro Sorcery, as you know, uh, or hopefully know, is a nighttime thing. And it is currently daytime, so we are going to have to work towards that. But we have our hammock set up somewhere. In order to progress in Astro Sorcery, we need to get our book out, Astral Tome, and take a look. Okay, so we are currently uh, in the Discovery chapter is where we last left off, which is basically uh, the beginning of all of our stuff and what we've already started. What we need to do is move into our Exploration chapter, which we unlocked, and get ourselves set up with a Starlight Crafting Altar. Starlight Crafting Altar is pretty darn easy. We don't have to do much with it. Just requires a few different thingamabobs, including a well of starlight. And we're also going to need this multi-block structure. And then we're good to go. Conveniently, the multi-block structure, we can craft all of the stuff that we need for this. And I have building gadget patterns that I have saved from Enigmatica 6 in order to actually do the whole crafting bits for this, for the placing of the blocks. So uh, getting into that is going to be pretty easy. What we need, though, is starlight, um, well, liquid starlight. So if you look at Astral, we need liquid starlight, this guy here. In order to get liquid starlight, we need a light well. And a light well is crafted as such. In our base luminous crafting table, we need to put these things in there, and we will get a light well. Uh, so let's go ahead and do so. Uh, go ahead and craft all the things for me. And then give me some of the stuff I need. Uh, so that was ruined, but we need three marble. We need a three ruined, um, two chiseled, two aquamarine, and any rock crystal. Don't really matter which one. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and add these guys in here. I need to look up the mod that allows JEI integration with Astro Sorcery because that would be super convenient. We also need to grab our wand. And then we need to make it nighttime. So let's go ahead and find our hammock. Where did I place that thing? 
on a tree somewhere. I had a lantern next to it, so you know, in case we get scared of the night times. There it is. Cool. So the sun should now be setting. Yes. So in just a few moments, our astro sorcery uh, altar here will be far enough along with light power. We only need that much or uh, with starlight and then we can craft our light well and get that going. While we're doing that, let's check on these guys. Why y'all no making no honey? You want more, more flowers? What if I just put the gold one in here? You guys don't seem to be doing much work here. You're kind of kind of disappointing me. Let's get you and you. You got a flower. Do the thing. Okay? You're the only one with access to this flower now. You think maybe I need to put more flowers in here? Just trying to trying to be efficient. Give it as much opportunity as I can to uh do the thing. Let's just put like, do we have some like poppies? Yeah. Maybe it doesn't like the Batania flowers. Do the thing, B. I don't know what, what you're doing up there on the roof, but it's uh not cool. Uh, so let's grab our light well. It's gonna do its craft. Astro Sorcery has to be one of my favorite mods, uh, just because of all of the, you know, light effects and all that stuff and the particles and, it's just, it's just a really beautiful mod. That doesn't work. Uh, what if we break this slab and put you there? Okay. So the light well takes aquamarines or any rock crystal. And since we have so many extra rock crystals, these will last significantly longer. So all we got to do is put that in here and it will start generating liquid starlight. And it can be boop, 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 booped to generate even more. The well here holds two buckets of starlight. Let's grab ourselves a bucket and we'll pick that up. It, but we are going to um, set up a tank on this so we can continue piping this. Let's grab a tank. Oh, nothing broke really quick. It made a really big liar out of me. Um, sure. Let's grab a thousand buckets of liquid starlight. Why not? We'll just have this thing keep running. Uh, but yeah, it ran out, so it made a huge liar out of me. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate that. So we got to just make these things here, and then let's just go to marble. And we're going to craft, you know, let's craft 256 of each kind. Uh, what else? You? And I don't have to worry about it. And now I'll have all the marble that I'll need. Grab this black hole tank um, and we can put it right below here. And we can set it to pull from the top and that should pull the liquid starlight. Yes, cool. So now we have that going. Uh, and then we can automate this in a, actually we can automate it. Let's get a router, modular router. And we want a, a sender module. I think we can automate this with a sender module. But we need the Mark II so we can do it remotely. Okay. So what we want is to put this. Um, we can kind of put this like here so it's not visible. We're going to take this sender module and the inventory that it's going to send to is here. Do you not want to work? You're not counting this as an inventory, are you? Oh, I was hoping that would work. I didn't want to have to have, I was trying to make it look nice. So we didn't have to have this facing. You are the one that can do. Yeah. Range 24. 
sneak right click and inventory to set target sneak right click any non inventory block to clear target. Hmm. Interesting. The, the light well doesn't count as an inventory. Uh, so you have to right click into this, which is probably why we need like an activator module. How about that? I didn't know used to have an activator module too when we were experimenting. I feel like I'm missing stuff. It's kind of concerning. Uh, oh, that's why activator module isn't here. So what if we put that there? And we're going to configure you. You're just going to right click. And if I put aquamarine in you, in your buffer, you right click your front. Are you going to do it? I know I automated this before. So how about your back? Anyways, there it goes. Bam. And so we'll just put aquamarines in there. And we could have a, a sender module, really, if we wanted to, that could send them, uh, aquamarine to this modular router to keep it full. But that will just keep the aquamarines in there and they will just continue to produce into our, you know, thing until we have a thousand buckets of this stuff. So I think that is pretty darn nifty. And we can, you know, speed this up and it'll keep putting them in, breaking them, doing the thing. Yeah. I think that looks good. And our B has not done anything yet. Okay. Well, all right. So I'm going to let the B sit. Hopefully we'll get that other, uh, we'll get the netherite spawn egg so we can get the wither bee because I really want to get that going so we can start getting the honeycombs because for the wither compass, we need three full honeycomb blocks, which is nine each. So we're going to need a total of 27 honeycomb blocks. So I would like to, you know, well, get those going. So yeah, anyway, uh, that's it for this episode. If you enjoyed, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate it. It really does help out the channel. We will continue into Astral Sorcery in our next episode. Oh, by the way, if you always wondered what these flares are, they don't do anything. But when you do Astral Sorcery stuff, um, they're created. And since I tick, tick accelerated this, you know, the 256 times and made 27 buckets, it created a bunch of flares. So yeah, they just, you know, float around the world and hang out and disappear just like that. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.